What is up guys, welcome to a new video as always, actually we got this yesterday, but as always if you want to uh, check the actual game out and not the champion sec then you click over, wrong way, that, over there there'll be an annotation and it'll be in the description, I forgot yesterday but someone actually remembered for me so thank you to whoever that was who uh, actually put it in the, in the comment section because I completely forgot, it's, it's, it's a new thing for me. Um, so I, normally what I'm going to do with these champion sex is start them as I'm picking my champion because I can explain why I'm picking what I'm, what, I'm, what my pick champion I want, I can explain like the team comp, like our team comp, enemy team comp, but this time <laughs> the guy does kind of like, with 10 seconds left said, can I pick your champion and he was pretty intent on doing it so he's actually just picked, uh, my champion anyway. Um, I haven't got the light on today, but I hope this lighting is okay. I'm gonna look in the future and I might have to invest in some proper lighting, but well, we'll see about that. Okay, so, um, Greg and Smith, that's probably not the, <laughs> not the best idea, but, um, like, I don't have any champions this account. I kind of explained that, but he was like, Jax is fine, so we're gonna go with Jax. We're gonna be playing a Mumu this game, though, so uh, let me just check I have... Oh, thank God I do have, actually, Mastery Sab, uh, Rune Sab for this, because that would have been extremely awkward if I hadn't got that. So we're gonna go with this page, which I think is Strength of the Ages. Yes, it is. So, um, I don't think we really need healing and regeneration life still, because we're not really... A, we don't really get anything like that. We don't have any natural, like... We don't have much natural sustain in that kit, really, so I think this would be better. And we can go for the additional damage or the more damage for our teammates. So, <laughs> this is the team play one. This is the team play one at diamond level. You take this because... Wait, no. Oh, my round. This is the team fight one. This is the team play one because you, at diamond you take this because all of your teammates are going to be doing 3% more, which is way more than just you individually doing 3%. Plus, you're a tank, so you don't really want to take one and a half additional uh, percent damage. But this will be really good for, like, more of a carry build. Um, I'm probably going to go for this one this game because I don't know what how the game is actually going to go. We have a squishy top. We have, like, a carry top laner. We have a, um, a squishy mage support. So we don't really have a tank, and it might mean that I'm going to have to go for more of a tanky build what just happened we have a lease in ad carry <laughs> well i would probably have dodged this if i was on my main account but you know what i think i'm actually just gonna play this one if nobody dodges i don't really understand it but it could be okay uh we have enough i guess damage and stuff and a movie can carry so the thing is like um uh, let me just the the screen switching is it gonna switch so with dodging and stuff in general like the first dodge of your day actually is not that bad you're minus three lp you lose no mmr though so even though like this rating system is all about um like your your lp right that's the visible stuff it's actually about mmr because that's how much lp you gain and lose each time you win and lose so actually the hidden stuff is the more important thing why do i have a diamond in my game <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, th that is the more important part, and it's the part you can't actually see, so people don't think of it. But actually, losing three LP for a dodge, if you think you're going to lose, like this game might go quite badly. Then, um, <laughs> yeah, th then actually, like it, it might be better just to have dodged. But we'll see. Against their team, though, I'm actually surprised. I thought it was going to be Echo Top and Rengar Jungle, and I was going to. I quite like that because Rengar is very squishy. So even though Rengar does a lot of damage, and Mimi's pretty good against him because you have two stuns and you have a lot of damage packed into your kit as well. So you can actually probably beat a Rengar if you manage to stun him before he like one shot bursts you. And you can also build a Thorma later, which is going to become uh, a lot better. So actually like the matchups on the enemy team are pretty good for us. We have Ash who's in mobile. We can lock her down. Like one of Ash's biggest things is she can kite people. You can't really kite a Mimu, especially if you get a Rylize, which we will do eventually. Um, you, but you have your sons and stuff. Lux the same. She's very immobile. So if we ever catch her, we can get onto her. Echo is going to be a little bit of a problem for us because he does a lot of damage. And I don't think we can necessarily keep up with that, but I'm not 100% sure on that matchup. Uh, the Rengar will be fine. We can gank him as well. So across the board, actually, our stuff is not that bad, apart from the least in AD carry. So um, I might regret not dodging this game, but I, I don't know if I particularly want to be dodging on this account. So um, yeah, I don't know if I really want to be dodging on this account. So we'll, we'll probably <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how this game goes, <laughs> and then we'll see. All right, so we're going to invade, it seems like. Um, but Jax is not here, so... Um, so the thing is that Lee Sin is a very aggressive, like, 
champion anyway and I feel like he can actually do well bot lane. Like, I don't think it's meta. I don't think it's ideal. But I think he can actually do... Oh, wait. What? He's not even paying attention, is he? At all. But we don't have our Jax, though. So... If we had Jax, it would have been okay. But he went top lane because he was kind of AFK. So... We actually didn't manage to get anything for that. He needs to flash. He needs to flash. Thank you. Good. Now, I could have taken my Q there at that point to try and get, like, the chain stun and stop Rengar flashing. But at least he has his Q on him, and he can follow it. Actually, I don't need to base. He can follow it, and um, he is more damage. If I start Q on the Mumu, like, in the jungle, I'm actually going to be screwed. So, <laughs> I really don't want to do that. Um, yeah, I really don't want to do that. <sighs> I'm just going to tell him Rengar flash. I don't know if that's actually what he wants to know or not, but... I can't understand French that much, unfortunately. But um, yeah, so that actually that was that was okay. Braun got the kill and Lee Sin got a kill, so he actually might snowball this lane a bit more, which would be nice. Now I don't necessarily want to smite this because um, Echo could invade me. I'm a Mumu, so I'm actually okay here. Oh, Soraki, you absolute legend! Thank you very much. So one of the things on a Mumu is that like you're pretty weak early, right? That's kind of the stereotype. Anyway. I'm going to ward over the bush just in case. So, it's, it's right and it's wrong. So, you are actually pretty weak, like, ish, early. You can get invaded, for sure. You can't really fight just yet because you need some items, but he's not as weak as people think. It's not like a free um, invade. You'll actually last quite a long time. I'm going to smite this because it'll be up again soon anyway. Um, it's, it's not quite a free invade like a lot of people think it's going to be so actually like when people come and try and stop you You can quite easily kill them, which is really really good. Nice. Nice. So actually that level one paid off more than we thought because he didn't have the um, He didn't have flash so we were able to pick up something there. Now what I might do actually and this is not exactly Standard okay, so I'm gonna go mid now. This is not saying at all for like an Amumu um, most movies will just farm and they'll just like, you know, that's all they're going to do early. Um, but, like, a Mimu actually does a lot of damage. So, if you can get some free damage on anyway, I'm not going to go any further than that. But, that's free damage. That's like a better uh, lane pressure for Gragas. I wish he'd kind of like come in on that with me more. But, people don't expect it because it's a Mimu. But actually, if you land your Q, like, you do a lot of damage. So, I think you can get away with stuff like that, and that's kind of the adaptation you want to make whenever you play jungle, is what is my opponent expecting, how can I do it differently, I guess, because if you do the whole standard, like, everyone's going to expect a Mumu to be in the jungle 24-7, right? That's pretty much what a Mumu does normally, so if you can change that up, it's a really, really good way of making, like, extra pressure and, and probably doing a lot better, actually, out of it. But we're going to get this. Um, I'm really, really low. So if I gank and it goes wrong, I'm probably going to die. But we'll try it. So she has this warded, but... He he kind of needs to engage. The reason I just ran through the ward instead of sweeping it was because if Gregor's actually like E flashed onto the Lux there, I could have just gone. And we would have been able to chain that CC. But... Um, he's not really that responsive, I don't think, like, it's fair to say, so, uh, I think in future what I might do is actually just, um, ignore him now and probably go and try and spend some other time in the rest of the lane. There's one thing, though, like, just in general, a movie is seen as, like, this really passive, like, it's kind of stemming from this, like, he's easily invaded, right? He's really passive, but actually you don't have to be passive at all. I think he's a really good gank. You can key people, you can ult people, which is great, and that's kind of what we're trying to do. Wow, okay, this game's getting out of control for this guy. It's kind of what we're trying to do. Um, just in general, though, Amuva is, like, top tier right now. Like, this is why I wanted to play him, because he's seen as a bit boring, but we're quite an aggressive player anyway, I guess. Um, especially, like, for this series, so I don't think it's going to be as boring. But, like, he actually is so good right now. Like, his item synergy is crazy. So, actually, you're passive. There's a couple of things. So, what we're going to do is we're going to build Runic Echoes. So we're going to go the AP version. Runic Echoes into our Sunfire Cape, probably Abyssal, and then Rylai's, and then maybe like Leandri's, but probably something defensive, like maybe a Thornmail or something like that. I'm going to ping a million times here. Go onto the Ash. I'm just going to keep auto attacking. I'm going to flash here. Oh my god, that stun. I'm going to get stunned. Rip. I don't have my 
Well, we got one. We got one kill. That's 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 fine. That was really annoying because Braum actually flash queued me to slow. I think he flashed. He flash queued me to slow me, so I couldn't actually chase the Ash, which was annoying, but very well played by Braum because it saved the Ash. And he was probably dead anyway, so it was actually a very good decision to, like, keep his AD alive that way, which is very clever. She got uh, she used her heal as well, which was good. So yeah, that's the kind of place that we're actually going from maybe more of a, like a roam heavy. But the thing is, so your passive, uh, if we just look at it right now, it reduces target's magic resist by three seconds when you hit them with a basic attack. It's only 15 right now, but as you get through the game, it gets up and up and up. Um, so it's more of a magic resist shred. But the thing is, like all of your abilities do magic damage anyway. So Sunfire normally is not a good item on um, junglers because it's not very efficient. It's more for like a pushing kind of style. And obviously as a jungler, well, we're not really pushing, right? We're just farming. But and we already have loads of AOE damage as well. So we don't really need that. Um, just going to dodge that. I'm going to leave a ward here as well. So we, we already have that. We don't really need that. Um, but what the reason we get it is because the Sunfire does magic damage. So with our passive shred, like when we're auto attacking someone, our magic burn actually does even more. Plus we have like the W is AOE damage, the E is AOE damage, Sunfire is now AOE damage. All three of those is going to be doing way more damage um, than like normal just because of your passive and also then if we get the abyssal afterwards that shreds a magic resist around people as well so we're in the situation where our passive shreds magic resist our uh, um abyssal shreds magic resist our sunfire does magic damage our w e r q they all do magic damage and suddenly like we're building semi defensively but we actually have um like loads more damage than just the items would actually give any other champion i guess so that kind of item synergy is actually why I think Amimu is kind of borderline, borderline overpowered right now. Yeah, I'm just never going back mid again. I'm just... <laughs> I mean, it's fine trying to knock him into me a bit more. Um, but he knocks him towards the tower anyway, which is not a clever idea. And then, yeah, so I think... I said it before, I think as an adaptation, we probably should just not go mid anymore. Like... I'm not being a salty dick here, like, I'm not, that's not the why, like, oh, you, you fucked up the gank, I'm never gonna do it again. It's just more of, like, um, I don't think it's, like, a, it's a good use of my time going mid, but well, we're gonna try and get something here. Maybe he gets this. He should get it with a Q if he hits this Q. Yeah, nice. I'm just gonna, I, I try and always, <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> what is this team? Um... I just want the, yeah, there we go. I just want the assist more than anything. Echo is top though, so um, we can get this dragon, which will be nice. Oh, if that actually, that might turn it a little bit. Or oh, yeah, she's actually gonna get out at least. So my priority this game really is if I can snowball this Lee Sin. Like I, if I can snowball Gragas or Lee Sin, um, it would make my life a lot easier because these guys are like not exactly late game champions i don't think ap gragas i don't really know like i might i might be wrong about that um i might actually be wrong like he might be really really good late but it just from my experience i feel like he's not going to be that good anymore like late game his damage tends to fall off but i don't really know because i haven't seen a full ap um gragas in a long time so that's just like my perception of it i guess like what i think um might be that way and that I, I know this is awarded because they just cleared a pink in here. You wouldn't normal ward plus pink it. So we can get this on. Hopefully Lee Sin gets a kill here. I'm gonna leave Tower Egg right now. Okay, so um, they got a shutdown, but I don't think that's too bad. We got the Infernal Dragon, which is really important, and now we can push and get some farm. Um, <laughs> yeah okay so i'm definitely looking to snowball this game as quick as i can um i we have okay so my like kind of thoughts of this game so far at least where i'm like at in my mind and what i'm trying to do i need to put this pink down that's definitely something i need to do in my mind i'm like okay my Jax is really strong so that's a good late game right and he's doing it himself like i don't need to necessarily help him um, he seems to be doing fine. He's even dealing with 
This guy's building armor. By the way, uh, Jax does mainly magic damage in the lane phase, so you actually don't ever want to build armor against him. Like, if you're ever crapping yourself against a, a Jax, it's better to actually put some magic resist. Um, but yeah, anyway, so Jax is like crapping on this Rengar, and I don't think that's going to stop because Rengar is an early champion and Jax is late. So, in theory, like, Rengar is a good late game, but in the lane phase, at least, as a top champion, you kind of have to get ahead in the early phase. So, my thought is like, Jax is going to continue to just basically do this all game. I don't really need to spend any time, so I'd rather spend some time, you know, running around like mid or like uh, bot lane so that I can get some damage on these guys because at least in is like not a late game champion. Why am I saying like so much? Lee Sin is not a late game champion at all. Like, and he's behind. I said it again. He's behind his CS. He's not farming very well. He's getting some kills, but that's not going to help his late game because CS means a bit more than kills. So I have to really spend most of my time bot lane. And maybe mid if I'm actually going to win this because Jax cannot carry against the Fed Ash and Lux. Like these guys are so strong that this is not going to happen. Um, I don't know if this is warded. I don't have my chicken smite buff because I forgot to smite that. So I have to be kind of careful. I'm just going to run through and check these bushes though because the bushes here. Um, oh, why am I going to waste my time? I just wanted to use a snare first. Oh shit. I'm gonna do this because Gragas is right here. I have my red buff as well, which will slow her. Okay, Gragas, now would be a good time to do something. Okay, thank you very much. Much appreciated. <laughs> so, what I actually like doing on a movie is maxing my Q second because it's more burst damage. And most people are gonna max a W second, better clear, and also. Um, yeah, this is much better clear and stuff. Oh, I tried to stun him before he did that. Damn. And we're still going to get this kill, I think. Oh, no. Maybe I actually messed that up. Oh, he's going to go over the wall, I think. Damn. That was a shame. I misplayed that so hard. And I should have gone round here as well because there's no way he can escape otherwise. Um, I actually might come bot, though, just to try and save this Lee Sin a bit. Oh, I missed bollocks. Oh, Rengar's coming though, and he's gonna he's gonna one shot. Actually, I don't think he can one shot any of us. I think as long as we stay together, he's fine. Lux is here though. That's the scary part. I missed that Q. That was my bad. I, I could have played those fights better. I should have picked up the Echo. I should have just picked up the Ash, but I misplayed both of them. At least I, yeah, that's just that's just unfortunate. Really, I should have played that better. Now boots wise, like I think you can get a lot of different things. Um. Tabby would be good against Rengar, but not really against their team because, like, they have a lot of CC and stuff. So I think actually Mercury Treads will probably be better. I'm going to actually get that now so I can run around and gank more. I don't know if that's ideally the best ever because I'm going to actually be kind of weak. Boost 2 is, like, a thing that you see in most co game commentaries, like, ever. You'll see people delay their Boost 2s if they're a high reload player because they it doesn't really give you combat stats necessarily. Like... I guess AD carries you, but in, just in general, the rule is two completed items is better than a complete item, half of like a second one, and also um, like your boots too. So it's better to just save up for that second item and not get your boots. But here, because we're jungling, we're a bit lower income, we can run around the map. We actually have more um, value, I guess, in mobility because we're actually running around the map constantly rather than just in one lane. And yeah, so that's the general rule uh, uh, for that. And farm wise, we're doing okay, I think 55. It's not great, but if we compare it with Echo, yeah, we're a little bit behind. We've been spending too much time ganking, I guess, really is the thing. We're gonna smite this for the, the buff though. And then, uh, Rengar is, is he just building a GA? I think he might just be building a GA, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna ping this, and I think she might have seen that pink ward. No, she didn't. I'm gonna head down though, because they are definitely going on this really hard. Um, and they're probably gonna dive, and... Yeah, so I can maybe do something here, like... Oh, I tried to burst him before he could ult. That was my idea there was... Oh, Jack's TV. I did not even see that. I'm blind. That was my plan, though. Oh, <laughs> the max range Q. I think my red's got him. Oh, no, it's his red. Nice. 
Yeah, so <laughs> I tried to burst the echo because one way you can counter this um, is to just like burst, not nuke him before he's able to in your CC chain. That unfortunately does not particularly work. Um, I need some help with this, so I can't re really solo. I don't think I'm a Mumu. Uh, I guess I just I don't really have enough damage yet to do that. Uh, he's very squishy though, which is kind of why I went for it. But I think I just ended up just wasting my ult. Though actually, it worked out fine because um, Jax was here. But to be like completely honest, um, I didn't know he was there. Like I wasn't watching the map. I didn't. Uh, that was just my bad. My map awareness was terrible. <laughs> like I didn't know he was actually TPing in. So it was a good play considering he was there. But actually, I think I'll probably like. Nine times out of ten, that's actually not a good play, if that makes sense. It's kind of weird, right? But that's that's a general idea. Anyway, so as a jungle right now, we're trying to control every dragon. We're trying to gank as much as we can. We've been a part of eight kills this game. And even though there's actually been like 18 so far, a lot of that is Jaxie's 9-1-1. One, one, so we've been a part of like a lot of bot lane action, I think. We've tried mid. <laughs> it didn't really work very well. Uh, so I think we're doing pretty well this game. But the good thing with the Mumu, the one thing I really like about him like over other champions is... You have this incredible late game. Like, I genuinely think he is actually the tank, probably out of every tank right now in the game, who can actually carry a game by himself. You have the crowd control to engage. You have the lockdown to keep people in place for your team to follow up. But you actually just are very tanky, and you have so much damage as well. So these guys, I honestly think, like, the Zac, the Mumu, those kind of people really do just stand out above the rest right now. Um... Oh, he just rushed a GA. What in the freaking world is that? I'm not going in there. Nope. I keep using this Raptor buff, like, on things that are just there. Oh, actually, we could turn this now, though. So I watched the other two leave. This is why I'm going in. And actually, the reason I'm kind of going in is because Rengar is worth no, da um, no gold. This is why I'm leaving him. Okay. Rengar is worth no gold at all, but... He had a GA, and if I waste a J like that, <laughs> if I wait, if I just get his, oh my god, if I just get his J like that, um, no, Ash is there, Ash is there, Ash is there, Ash is there. I'm telling you, if I waste his J like that, that's basically like two thousand three hundred gold, which is kind of wasted because the stats on it are worth like half of that. You're paying so much for the revive part of your of the GA. Which is why it's never a good set early, because basically what you want to do is you want to um, survive as long as possible the first time around. Like, you want so, like loads of defensive stats. Well, this is on a tank, right? This is, He's built this for survival, so either you want to have loads of damage and you just want to unload that damage while not caring about going into uh, your GA, like, uh, caring about dying. So for an AD carry, you'd get it because you're either getting one shot or because actually it will let you do more damage because you can go absolutely nuts with your GA and then you're going to revive again so then you can play a bit more defensively after. Or as a tank, you kind of want to last as long as possible in a team fight first and then revive again afterwards to just be incredibly annoying. But Rengar doesn't do any of them. He doesn't do any damage. He doesn't actually have any defensive stats either. So having a GA is completely worthless, really. It doesn't do anything. But just by killing him then, um, we actually completely like removed the usefulness of that. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I don't... That came out of nowhere. And <laughs> I don't have a mute button on this microphone. So I didn't know what... I didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, Jesus. That's going to become a meme. Oh, my God. That was some fire. Sorry. Whoa. Whoa! Ah. Uh, um. <laughs> I was hiding my UI by accident. Um, yeah, that, ugh, I'm gonna become, that's gonna become a meme. God damn it. These guys are actually low. I can see him, uh, the Gragas coming down as well, so I might actually go for this. A bit more. Oh, I'm bad. I know that Jack's coming in and he can finish this off. I couldn't do that on my own. There would be no point me going in for that, but... Because Jax is here, oh, we actually managed to get a double for that. Yeah, because Jax is here, I know that I'm actually able to do that. Why is he still alive? Soraka is so broken! Oh my god, I hate Soraka. Seriously, I hate Soraka. I don't know if this is a good idea to go in just yet. 
Okay, now I'm going in. Oh, I'm bad. Oh, I'm bad. 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 Don't kill me though. Don't kill me though. I think I actually win this. Soraka, you absolute legend. Oh, they surrendered. Oh my god. Okay. I was I was winning the epic one v one. Oh my god. That was so embarrassing. I actually just missed my cue and just completely screwed that up. But okay, that works, I guess. Um. So this is actually like game plan pretty much. Oh, we won. We got promoted. We got promoted finally. Finally. This uh, S minus as well. Nice. We're getting back to like our form a little bit more now, which is good. We actually did a considerable amount of damage. This is like the example of why you don't have to necessarily dodge with a an unlo a different pick, I guess. But at the same time, <laughs> I would have dodged that on my main account. So, um, yeah. But th just to sum that game up, because even though it might not seem like we did a ton there, um, we actually part of thirteen kills. We had a pretty decent game, but it was more just a game plan of okay, like. As a jungler, you have to recognize where to put your resources. Like, you have to have this kind of cost of, okay, if I go top lane, I can't go mid and bot. So, what I actually chose to do was leave top on an island because he was already winning and focus on mid and bot lane. So, I focus on the bottom half of the jungle and I can go between mid and bot as much as I like. And that's, like, where I focus all of my energy. Like, I don't think I ganked top once this game. And it was good that, like, Jax won his lane on his own, but... Like, I don't think a bot lane would have won. I don't think mid would have done very well without some pressure as either. So we managed to help those lanes, which ended up just becoming like, you know, we had the lead in the top lane. Now we have the lead in the other lanes as well because we created so much pressure there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I think that's a pretty good example of why Amumu is so good right now. And Soraka is absolutely 100% busted. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you all for watching uh, stuff on this channel. And I'll catch you in tomorrow's video.